Hi and welcome to Intersoft Solutions video tutorial. My name is Nicholas Lee. In this video, I will explain more about understanding MVVM pattern used throughout application development using Crosslight. I will explain a bit about the MVVM pattern itself. As the name implies, the MVVM pattern consists of model, view, and view model. Developers coming from the .NET world, particularly Silverlight and Windows Presentation Foundation, or WPF, will be particularly familiar with the MVVM pattern. Another commonly used design pattern is the MVZ pattern, which is the model view controller pattern. I will compare how the MVVM pattern slightly differs compared to the MVZ pattern. The MVVM pattern allows for better code maintainability and greater separation of concerns. Actually, MVZ pattern is pretty similar with MVVM, but what makes MVVM superior is the data binding features that enables the view to be completely clean without business logic codes. And also, you can think of the view model as the controller in the MVZ pattern. Let's look at a quick scenario. Imagine a data form where you would have lots of input controls and you will usually need to, in quotes, assemble the object that you want to send to the controller and let the controller execute the business logic based on the parameters you sent. Upon receiving the response, the view will set the text back to the labels. Using MVVM, you can use data binding that enables the view's property, say for example, labels text to a property in the view model that allows the label to react upon property change and updates the view using the binding adapter. This allows for the view to be completely clean. This is possible because the view model and the view shares the same object model that allows the binding adapter to listen for property changes coming from the view model. On Windows platforms such as Windows Phone 8 and Windows 8, you can use MVVM by default. You would bind the property to the view shown in the form of code behind with XAML as the view, while on iOS you will have UI view controller with XIB files and on Android you will have activity with XML files. On both iOS and Android platform you don't have MVVM features by default. However, using Crosslight, we leverage the MVVM concept so that you can take advantage of the same data binding features using a shareable binding provider for each view that consumes the same view model. Let's take a quick look at the Crosslight solution. We will have one core project and platform specific projects that has reference to the shared core project. And the shared project will have shareable assets as well as, well as shareable binding providers. The binding providers created are completely shareable between iOS and Android. We will also have extensions as well and app service that acts as the main entry point for cross site applications. We also provide native mobile services that you can use directly from the view model. This enables you to access native services such as the camera to get the current photo and crop the image, get current location, monitor location changes, compose emails with attachment, sharing content to social networks, make phone calls, and much more. It is outlined in detail in our offline as well as online documentation. So to sum it up, general overview of the MVVM pattern used in cross-site applications consists of the view model layer which is a shared core project consisting of binding providers, commands, properties and fields, mobile services, and data access layers, which interacts in a two-way binding fashion to the model. 
The view model then interacts to the view layer, which is activity for Android, UI view controller for iOS, and page for Windows Phone 8 and Windows 8, also in a two-way binding fashion. In this video, I have outlined the general overview of the MVVM pattern used throughout Crosslight app's development. In the next video, I will show you how to create a simple tip calculator app with data binding features to demonstrate the data binding capabilities in Crosslight. If you need more information, drop us a mail at technicaladventorsoftpt.com. You can find discussions related to Crosslight and Mobile Studio in our forums at intersoftpt.com slash community slash crosslight. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.